When I'm home in Woodstock, I like to take a walk around Cooper Lake. Cooper Lake is about five miles west of Woodstock on Route 212. I spotted these wild turkeys almost as soon as I hit Cooper Lake Road. The road winds around the shore of Cooper Lake. The road is paved for about a quarter of the way. Read Alf Evers' Woodstock for a great history of this area. I sure miss Annie, my Springer Spaniel. She died about six months ago. The slough is where she took her first dip. Minnows and frogs hatch in these little side waters. This year we had a false thaw in March. Freezing temperatures a few weeks later killed the minnows and frogs that had hatched during the false thaw. This thistle bush grew to almost six feet tall. You can see the earthen dam that holds back the lake ahead. That's the dam on the left. From the top of the dam, you can see a panorama of the Catskill Mountains. Cooper Lake is the freshwater reservoir for Kingston, New York, about 20 miles away. My walks around Cooper Lake are an opportunity to reflect I often find myself praying for my dad, or for Myrna, or for Annie. There are so many who are gone. Woodstock really is one of the most beautiful places in the world. I'm about as far away from any well-traveled road as I can get at this point. About all you can hear is the wind and the water running. Today is a weekday. I didn't encounter any other people. On the weekends or on holidays, this is a favorite walking spot, particularly for Woodstock's senior citizen. The stretch of road I've traveled is just about flat, but if you want to, you can continue on past the lake and walk up and down some steep slopes. Behind the guardrail, you can see a stand of lilies. The deer behead all the lilies by my house. The deer tend to stay away from the road at Cooper Lake. There are too many people around. The goldenrod is blossoming. That means we're headed towards fall. Annie loved to swim here. I would throw a stick out as far as I could and watch the panorama while she swam out to get it. When she was tired, she'd just jump out and take her stick and run home. <laughs>